Hope Change Choices presents How to Apply to a Magnet School. Magnet schools are popular. In fact, it's so popular, more children want to attend than could actually fit. Because of its popularity, students and their parents must fill out an application for a magnet school. If so many children want to attend magnet schools, how do the schools decide who gets in and who doesn't get in? The path to make sure your child gets accepted into the magnet school can be difficult or confusing or challenging. In this video, we'll show you some tips and tricks to increase the chances your child will be accepted into the magnet school of your choice as a ninth grader. There are two important things to remember about being accepted into a magnet school. First, magnet schools accept students based on how many priority points each student has. For example, these four students all want to get into Horseshoe Magnet High School, which has only three open spots. Alicia has 12 points. Brian has 8 points, Crystal has 12 points, and Daniel has 16 points. Horseshoe Magnet High School accepts Daniel, then Alicia, and then Crystal, who have the most points. Brian is not accepted into the Magnet School, but he is placed on the waiting list. We'll talk more about the waiting list later. Second, how do you earn points? There are many ways to earn points. For this video, we'll give you the most common ways to earn points. For more about points, see the district website. Students who attend an overcrowded school can earn four points automatically. Great news, since Cochrane Middle School is considered overcrowded, your child automatically earns these four points. Two, students who attend a primarily black, Hispanic, Asian, or other non-Anglo school automatically earn four points. More good news, since Cochrane School is primarily black and Hispanic, your child automatically earns another four points. And three, your child earns four points for each previous year you've applied to a magnet school and were placed on the waiting list. Let's look at, take a real life example of this. Luis and Michelle are both 8th graders at Cochrane and applying to Horseshoe Magnet High School for next year. Luis is applying for the first time. Michelle is applying for the third time. Let's calculate their points to see who will be accepted. Luis and Michelle both earn 4 points because Cochrane is overcrowded. Luis and Michelle both earn another four points because Cochrane is primarily black and Hispanic. However, since this is the first time Luis applies, these are the only points he has earned, giving him a total of eight points. Not a lot of points, but still worth trying. Michelle, on the other hand, applied as a sixth grader and did not get in. Michelle applied as a seventh grader and still she did not get in. So when Michelle applies, she has a total of 16 points. And because she has so many points, she has a very good chance of getting into the most competitive magnet school. So we'll close with the best plan for getting into a magnet high school. In fifth grade, apply to a magnet middle school with very few open spots. In sixth grade, apply to a magnet school with very few open spots. 
in the seventh grade, apply to a magnet middle school again with very few open spots. And in eighth grade, choose the magnet you want to go to. With all this time, energy, and effort, you have a great chance of getting in. So in summary, with a little bit of planning, you can give your child an opportunity to succeed at some of the best high schools in Los Angeles. For more information about magnet schools, check out the 2009-2010 Choices brochure. Extra copies are available at public schools, public libraries, and on the 28th floor of the Beaudry Building. Or, you can check out our website, hopechangechoices.org. So remember, as we sign off, hope in the future, change in the present, the choice is yours.